ever evolving in the comfort of tradition, celebration matters for this historic place of education. Nestled in the heart of the South Vancouver Island rainforest, this is Shonagan Lake School, a co-educational, independent boarding school where the emphasis is on developing upstanding members of the community. I would say the essence of the school is, is the attention we give to character and values. We have to get these young people to the best possible place that they can. How can we maximize the 24-7 opportunities you have in a school like this to, uh, to do that? And, and I think the success of the school is, is, is in that part of the fabric. Today there are over 450 students, 90% of which are living on campus. While 80% of them are from Canada and the United States, there is a small international student base representing over 30 countries. We're trying hard and we're going to continue to, to try hard to stay relatively small, to stay under 500, because one of the things that we pride ourselves on is the school spirit, the, the real sense of community and, uh, and the headmaster knowing all the kids by name and greeting them by name and other staff members doing the same. That's all really important for the field. These are among Canada's most energetic and enthusiastic young minds, striving for excellence, intent on becoming tomorrow's leaders. We want students that are not just one thing and one dimensional. And the most important word of all for us is personal excellence, because excellence is different from one student to the next. The story of this world-class private school begins on April 7th, 1916. Its founder, Christopher Windley Lonsdale, was born into a religious family in England. But unlike his two brothers, he decided not to devote his life to the church. Instead, he moved to Canada in search of opportunity, trying everything from driving a taxi in Toronto to running a farm and hotel here on Vancouver Island. But in 1912, his legacy was about to unfold. He formulated an idea to build a British-style boarding school for boys. So he purchased two and a half acres close to Shonagan Lake, hired four staff members with an initial enrollment of six students. After a decade, 92 students were enrolled and a brand new building was constructed in 1927, along with the chapel in 1928. When the stock market crashed in 1929, Local families were hit hard, so Headmaster Lonsdale established a way of helping struggling families to continue affording the school fees. Today, that type of support continues. A bursary and financial assistance program helps about a quarter of the student population, as well as scholarships that fund high achievement students. With good grades to prove it, hardworking grade 11 Nina Height is thrilled to be enrolled in one of the scholarship programs set up by the Shaw family. Well, when I applied to the school, I kind of mentioned that I wouldn't be able to, my family wouldn't be able to support me here. And they mentioned that there was the Shaw family scholarship and recommended that I apply for it. We want young people who are going to come and absolutely give it their all in terms of their, their participation, their involvement, their, their attitude and so on. Former CEO and Vice Chairman of Shaw Communications, Jim Shaw, attended Shonagan Lake School for two years in the 1970s. Alumni make a pledge to try and give back to future students if they can afford to later in life. So I wrote a letter to Mr. Shaw and Mr. Robertson just explaining about myself and why I wanted to be here and what the school would do for me. And uh, a couple of weeks later, I heard back good news, and I was just so happy. My parents were so proud, and it was amazing. I was so happy. Day student fees are just under $22,000 per child per school year. For students who are boarding, it's upwards of $40,000. The school employs 200 people, about half of them making up the faculty, and the traditional all-boys format became co-ed in 1988. Both Jim Shaw and his wife Catherine have a strong personal connection to the past, present and future of the school and they've donated some of their personal assets to help keep it up to date. In 1999, the Shaw Centre for Science was added to the campus. We've got adjacent lecture areas with laboratory areas. So the class starts in the lecture area and moves to the lab area and 
It, it's just a fabulous building. As Shonagan Lake School approaches its 100th anniversary in 2016, its main building is currently being renovated in three phases. Phase one is complete, including a brand new student centre. Phase two, which is the, the, the centre hall and the west wing and the great hall, are all under progress and uh, will be finished by March next year. And most recently, the Shaw family donated $19 million to the cause. $8 million will go towards providing scholarships for deserving students, while the rest will go towards phase three the building of a brand new state-of-the-art library. Perhaps one of the best facilities in, in any high school in the country. Head of school, Max Whiffin, is a shining example of the type of person the school can help to shape. For me personally, I, I know especially this year, I've learned a lot of leadership qualities. And I know that this year I've sort of, I've learned to be able to present myself a lot more and be a leader within groups. In this, his last year, he has plans to attend the University of British Columbia in Vancouver with the intention to pursue a career in real estate. Let the rewards go to those who have earned them. From Shonagan Lake School on South Vancouver Island, I'm James Green.